This video talks about the different types of RNA. Now, I'm starting a series of videos about RNAs, and this particular one is about types of RNA, and and the two, three, four will be in the subsequent uh, videos. So let's get into the types of RNA. Really, we have to remember the five different types of RNA that I have here. These are the most common. mRNA is the one that brings uh, a transcripted product from the nucleus to the cytoplasm to the ribosomes. So those are the messenger RNA. They're also the longest um, RNA. Our RNA, our ribosomal RNA, is the most abundant. They are either found free in the in the cytoplasm or they're found on, on the body of the endoplasmic reticulum and we call them um, rough endoplasmic reticulum. They're the most abundant and they're the sites where protein uh, translation happens, okay? tRNA is the one which brings amino acids, okay? The amino acids that are present in the cytoplasm to our ribosomal RNA, okay? It brings uh, uh, pro amino acids to our ribosomal RNA, that those are the tRNA. The next one is snRNA. Now, snRNA, in other words, they're also called small nuclear RNA. Small nuclear RNA is the one that is responsible for uh, converting pre-mRNA to mRNA. So they get, they get rid of introns in our RNA. So imagine that this is our RNA. Okay, and it has introns in between. And when we have introns in between, we're calling it pre-mRNA. From pre-mRNA to mRNA, which are ready to go to the cytoplasm, is achieved by the snRNA. So they make mRNA from pre-mRNA. They make mRNA from pre-mRNA, and, and then mRNA also goes through some other kind of um, modifications. And those modifications, for example, eukaryotes is uh, adding a 5' prime cap or adding a poly A tail so that they're not degraded in the, in the cytoplasm. But before those modifications happen, so let's say this is our mRNA, there is no 5' prime cap. Let's say it's not there, and there is no poly tail. Okay, it's not there. This state where it's not ready yet to go to the cytoplasm, that RNA is called agent RNA. So that is kind of our pre M RNA. Okay, so let's do a quick overview. So let's draw a huge cell here and imagine that this is our nucleus. Now, so there is an mRNA that is being transcripted, okay? But this mRNA, we're really not calling this mRNA yet because it has spliceosomes, uh, sorry, introns in it. There is no 5' prime N or poly tail, so it's going to be degraded. So in this state, which are, we're calling it HNRNA. HNRNA then... Um, you know, then gets attacked, not attacked, HNRNA <laughs> gets helped by the spliceosomes, okay, the SNRNPs, which are going to remove these introns by SNRNA. So that's where the SNRNA comes. And then um, at the same time, um, what happens is that it has a 5' prime end coming in, 5' prime cap coming in, so let me draw like a cap from cap coming in and a poly A tail coming in so that it's about to be ready to go to the uh, to the cytoplasm. But imagine there is no 5 prime A or poly A tail. Is it ready to go to the cytoplasm? Not really. At that particular state we are calling it HNRNA. Okay? As soon as we're putting the 5 prime and poly A tail, it's not called uh, HNRNA anymore. We're calling it mRNA. mRNA is now ready to go into the cytoplasm where it goes to the ribosome or ribosomal RNA. Okay, that's the site where protein translation is going to happen. And the tRNA is carrying our amino acids 
onto our ribosomes, mRNA is coming to the ribosomes, and we have translation of our desired protein.